Good day, Mr. William. So we are the group one, and we're going to present what is glycolysis. Miss Asia, what is glycolysis? So glycolysis, or in Greek term, which uh, means glycos means sweet, and lysis means eating, or in pronunciated in Greek is glycolysis. Glycolysis originally means sugar splitting or sugar breaking. This is a process where six carbon sugar molecule is breaking, broken down into two free carbon molecules. So, in addition, glycolysis is the process in which one glucose molecule is broken down into two form molecules of pyruvic acid, also called pyruvate. The glycolysis process is a multi-step metabolic pathway that occurs in the cytoplasm of animal cells, plant cells, and the cells of microorganisms. So, these are the cases of glycolysis examples. Energy investment piece to energy pay of pays and net products. So, let's proceed to 10 steps in glycolysis. Step 1, phosphorylation. Phosphorylation. The ADP-dependent phosphorylation of glucose to, pro to form glucose 6 phosphate is the first reaction of glycolysis and is catalyzed by the enzyme hexokinase. So, as you can see, glucose, which has six, six. six carbon, phosphorylation, and hexokinase. Hexokinase, an enzyme that phosphorylates hexose, it forms hexose phosphate. It possesses the ability to transfer an inorganic phosphate group from ATP to substrate. So, Mr. Bertis, what is step 5 or isomerization? The enzyme transphosphate isomerase rapidly interconverts the molecule dehydroacetone phosphate DHAP and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate GAP. Glyceraldehyde phosphate is removed or used in the next step of glycolysis. Thank you. So, Mambay what is step 5 or Step 1. Cleavage or Ibelin. 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 What is step 2 or isomerization? The step 2, which is called isomer isomerization, is the second reaction of the glycolysis. It is the rearrangement of glucose 6-phosphate that turns into fructose 6-phosphate by glucose phosphate isomerase, which is, in other words, the ATP will turn into ATP through phosphofructose kinase. Thank you. So, Mr. Balmaria, what is step 6 or oxidation, dehydration, and phosphorylation? In this step, two main events take place. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is oxidized by the coenzyme nicotinamide adenine depleted. The molecule is phosphorylated by the addition of a 3-phosphate group. The enzyme that catalyzes the reaction is glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, which means GAD pH. The enzyme GAD DH contains a propane structure in the molecule in all conformations such that it allows the NAD molecule to pull a hydrogen of the lock, converting the NAD to NAD, NAD DH. The phosphate group then attacks the lock molecule and release it from the enzyme. The one and three, phosphoglyceride, NAD DH, and a hydrogen atom. So, let's proceed to step seven. Step seven is substrate level phosphorylation. Um, in this step, Bispoglyceride is converted to 3 phosphoglyceride by the enzyme phosphoglyceride kinase, which means PGA. This reaction involves the loss of phosphate group form, the starting material. The phosphate is transferred to a molecule of ADP that yields our first mo molecule of ADP. Since we actually have two mo molecules of 1 and 3 bispoglyceride, because there were two three carbon products from stage one of glycolysis. We actually synthesized two molecules, two molecules of ATP at this step. With this synthesis of ATP, we have canceled the first two molecules of ATP that we use leaving us with a net of zero ATP molecules up to this stage of glycolysis. Again, we see that, that an atom of magnesium is involved to shape the negative charges on the phosphate group 
from the ATP molecule. Okay. Mr. Bautista Steven, what is step 3 or phosphorylation? The step 3 is phosphocrominase. In the third step of glycosis, fructose 6-5-phosphate is converted to fructose 1 and 6-5-phosphate. Similar to the reaction that occurs in step 1 of glycosis, a second molecule of ATP provided uh, the phosphate group that is added on the F6P molecules. Thank you. So the last step, or step 10, is the substrate level phosphorylation that pertains to the enzyme pyruvate kinase transfers a P from phosphonolpyruvate or PEP to ADP to form pyruvic acid and ATP result in step 10. The final step of glycosis converts phosphopyruvate to into pyruvate with the help of the enzyme pyruvate kinase. As the enzyme's name suggests, this reaction involves the transfer of a phosphogroup, phosphate group. The phosphate group attached to the two carbon of the PEP is transferred to a molecule of ADP, yielding ATP. Again, since there are two molecules of PEP, here we actually generate two ATP molecules.